Hey everybody, welcome to a Cricut Craft tutorial. Today I want to show you guys how to make bows. Now a lot of people will make these out of felt, uh, faux leather, lots of different things. We're just going to do ours in cardstock because the cardstock bows can actually be used for a lot of things too. Um, whether it's present decorating, party favor decorating, all sorts of things. But we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to use Design Space for this one because they have free images. So we're going to go into Images. And up here where it says Search, I'm going to search the word Bow. And I'm going to actually filter this because it makes it a little easier. And you can just click Free. And what that does is it shows you all the different bow options that you can use that are free. So I'm going to show you two different ones. I'm going to show you this purple one and this green one. You can see they're a little bit different shaped, so it'll be really fun to do two different kinds. Now we're going to need to resize this one because it's giant. So we're going to go ahead and bring it way down in size. We're going to just make it 11 um, and a half, and it's going to make it pretty skinny, but that's okay. And then this one we're going to have to size down a little bit too. I don't know why Design Space insists that when they put their images in that they're gigantic, but they just do. Um, so we just size them down so that they would fit. And I'm going to go ahead and click Make It. And I'll show you that it's going to give us two mats because I'm going to cut them in two separate colors for you guys. So this is our first green bow, and then this is the purple bow. Um, I'm just going to cut those out of whatever cardstock I can find laying around in my house. So we'll get over to the machine in a few minutes, and we will go ahead and make it. So we cut out our pieces. I didn't show you guys it cutting. Just make sure you use the blue mat, set it on cardstock, pretty easy. So I cut them in two different colors. This is the one, it has three pieces. So it has a flat piece, kind of a curvy piece, and then a piece with some triangles cut out. We'll do that one second. And then this one is the one that was purple on my screen. So this one's got a really long flat piece, a short flat piece, and then the piece with the triangles. So we'll start with this one. So all you need is a hot melt glue gun. You could use Elmer's glue. You can pretty much use any kind of glue that you want, but I'm going to use hot melt because it glue dries a little faster. So what you're going to do is take this long flat piece with no cuts in the sides and kind of curl it together. And I pre-curl mine a little bit. And you just want to kind of curl it towards the center. And then all I'm going to do is take a little bit of hot melt glue on one side. So I'm just going to do this side and just put a little glue and not like a ton. And I just kind of spread it like I put a little dot and then I use the tip to kind of moosh it around. And then all I'm going to do is fold it over into the center and make sure it's lined up with the top and the bottom of the paper and press it down. And you're going to do the same thing with this side. So you're just going to put a little bit of glue and then I'm going to actually turn mine. I have better luck going this direction. I'm going to turn mine, put a little bit of glue down, and like I said, all I do is just kind of use the tip and moosh it around so that it's kind of spread out and it's not in one big glob. And then all you're going to do is fold it over. And all I do is I just make sure it overlaps a little bit. And I kind of didn't get that completely centered, but that's all right. Nobody will notice that. So all you have to do now... I'm actually going to fix the glue down part on that. It's coming up a little bit, so I'm just going to dab a little glue in there. There we go. Now it's holding a little bit better. So you have this little, like, figure eight or infinity symbol looking piece. And all you do is take that little infinity symbol looking piece, and you're going to glue it to the center of this. So all I do is I find kind of the center, and this is kind of an eyeballing thing. You can measure, but I usually just eyeball it. And you do the same thing. You're going to just take your glue make a blob and eyeball it and line it up with the top and the bottom of your back piece and press it down. So now you see you have kind of this little shape and then this here is going to be your middle piece which is going to kind of give you the cinched bow look and all I do is I fold it over and I fold it over and then I don't even bother to unfold it. I just um, take my hot melt glue and I stick a little bit under this flappy and I press it down and then I stick a little bit here and then all I do is I just press it down. Now this one isn't lined up too great. I could have done a better job um, lining it up but really once you put it on the package nobody will notice. So then this is your bow. Hopefully you guys can see that. 
but it's pretty easy and this would be really cute on top of a box or on a card and you can make this as big or as little as you want I just made them big so that you guys could see them so that's bow number one and we're gonna move on to bow number two bow number two just has a slightly different shape but you put it together pretty much the same way you're gonna just roll this piece over and roll this piece over and this one's a little bit easier to line up because if you look there's like a like an indent you can see like it kind of comes in at the center so you just want to line your piece up with that so all I'm gonna do is the same idea I'm just gonna put that glob of glue spread it around and I think I need some more glue in my glue gun so let me get that so we're gonna just do that and you're just gonna line it up with this little doohickey in the center here and again just make sure you line it with the top and the bottom so you can see that there's not really like any overlapping but you see you have a loop now and then you're gonna do the same thing on this side you're gonna take your glue gun little bit of glue spread it around and this is gonna be the same idea with the faux leather or the foam or whatever you're making these out of it's all the same general directions it's just I'm doing it with cardstock and you can do it with other materials you can do this with glitter cardstock too it's really pretty so now you can see we have our little figure eight infinity signy looking thing and you want to make sure you always put your seam so the part you glued always goes down so that it's not shown on this like on the outside I always put it down I know that the middle piece covers it I just think it looks nicer on this one I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the glue right here on the figure 80 bow part and then all I'm gonna do is center it best I can again you want to make sure you try to line it up best you can and you're just gonna press it down here right in the center Oops, and I got a little bit of glue on my table and this one is gonna hang over a little bit and I don't know how well you guys can see this but it does it's a little bit wider than this which is okay because it's that's how the bow is styled and I got glue all over me and then you're just gonna do the same thing with your centerpiece all you do is fold over once fold over twice you want to make sure it's tight and then again all I do is I come back here and without having to unfold them and try to line them up I just stick my glue gun just under the edge here stick a little glue hold it down and then all I do is put a little glue where this piece goes and then I just push it down and I hold it for a second careful though it is warm and there we have a bow this one like I said it's a little bit different style so it's gonna have a little bit um, more of a bow shape to it and the smaller you make these the more pronounced the bow shape is but you guys can do these with all sorts of products all sorts of you could do them with fabric too these would be really really cute in fabrics glitters just about anything you could do them in two different colors so if you wanted to do this piece in the back here um, a different color than this and this you could absolutely do that you would just change those colors in design space if you guys have any questions about these bows please let me know down below if you're looking for any craft tutorials for Cricut please let me know down below as well I'm always happy to make you guys tutorials make sure you subscribe to my channel I put out new videos all the time I hope you guys have a great day